Here in New York City at the Institute for Workplace Studies, we are trying to engage with the future of work. What does the digital economy mean for the average worker? And this is an important question, not just for the Institute, not just for ILR, but for Cornell, and in fact, for the whole world. And so we're trying to engage with leading thinkers, whether they're in business or labor or NGOs, and trying to understand what the future of work will mean and how we can navigate it better. What I've been talking about is the fact that America is about to face a tsunami of change in the way we work and in our jobs, that no one really wants to discuss it, that has huge implications for our kids and our family, and that there are ideas, like the one I'm promoting, universal basic income, that actually could ease the transition and allow people to live with much more economic security for our kids and our grandkids. A universal basic income is like Social Security for everyone. It's giving every adult 18 to 64 every month a check for $1,000. It's a way to end poverty and provide for economic security. I mean, I think it's incredibly important in places like New York City and in you know, distinguished institutions like Cornell that the discussion about the future occurs. Because too often, you know, America is so focused on what's happening today that we don't think about tomorrow. And the leadership that Cornell and the, is showing in the future of work is the kind of leadership and the kind of debate our country really needs. I've spent my whole life trying to change other people's lives, and I now stand at a moment where I understand that the world that I grew up in and my father and grandfather did, the one job in a lifetime, is ending. And we don't really have the answers about the next generation of work. And so I'm so thankful that we're having the kind of discussion we had here tonight at Cornell to really begin that discussion about what does the future really mean to provide the American dream for everyone.